hi welcome back to my channel today we're going to make chicken tikka sandwiches so for this recipe you'll need around 300 grams boneless chicken cut into bite-sized pieces you'll also require two tablespoons of tikka powder one tablespoon of lemon juice also one tablespoon of yogurt just plain yogurt quarter teaspoon garlic paste quarter teaspoon red chilli powder and salt according to taste you can adjust the powder as well the chilli powder now we're just going to add all the ingredients into the chicken as you can see in the video Once all the ingredients have been added into the chicken, what we're going to do is we're just going to mix it all in. And once it's all mixed, we are going to just leave this aside for 20 minutes up to an hour. Overnight is always best. However, if you're running short of time, 20 minutes is perfect. Now we're just going to start cooking this in a medium to high heat. And we're going to add one tablespoon of vegetable oil as well. As you can see, the chicken is now cooking away nicely. We're just going to cook this until the sauce has dried and obviously until the chicken is cooked properly so it is looking delicious already and um, as you can see the sauce is now drying off and the chicken is cooked the chicken is now ready it's already looking delicious we will now place the chicken in a bowl and just allow it to cool okay so for these sandwiches you also require bread of your choice of went with medium white bread so we're just cutting the crusts off the bread you can obviously keep the crusts if you prefer that now we'll just get the chicken ready so we're going to add mayonnaise to it and just mix that in you can add more or less as per your preference okay so just mix in the mayonnaise with the chicken and if you want it more saucy as always just feel free to add more meal now that the chicken mixture is ready, we're just going to apply it to our breads, spread it out evenly. Make sure you add a generous amount of chicken evenly all over the bread. Once you've added the chicken filling, what we're going to do is we're going to add chopped jalapenos. Add as many as you like. If you like it spicy, obviously add a lot more. And once you've added these, we're going to add some lettuce leaves. We've chopped up some lettuce, we're just adding it here. Okay, now that we've added our sandwich filling, what we're going to do is we're just going to add the other slice of bread on top and cut this into pieces now. So the sandwiches aren't ready as you can see. They're honestly really delicious and easy and quick to make. Perfect for a lunch or a light snack. As always, thanks for watching and please remember to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much.